Yo, it's Mr. Hashim with the review of the Windows 8 preview, which recently came out yesterday. And first of all, we are greeted with a new whole start bar menu after the login screen, and it's completely different to Windows 7 so far. And you can see all the apps that people have already built on this screen. Over here you can click on the desktop, Windows Explorer and anything else that it says. All these are apps that will go straight into the apps without going into the desktop or anything. For example, alarms, if I click that, it will go straight like full screen app. But on the bottom right corner there will still be a start um, bar. So you click that, I'll bring you back to this. And that same happens with all of these apps, including Internet Explorer and Control Panel. So if we click onto the desktop, you can see it's similar to Windows 7, but it has the Internet Explorer 9. Flash is working and so is Java and some softwares have been tested, but some Windows 7 softwares don't work at the moment. For some reason, neither is the internet. Okay, here. Yeah. At the moment, because I'm recording, oh, it's just a bit slow. But yeah, it works as smoothly as Windows 7, and it's quite good. Alright, and if we're going to Windows Explorer, you can see that the interface has changed quite a bit. It's got the new ribbon, which Windows 2000, Windows Office 2007 and 10 have, and has different tools which you can use in each part. And, uh, and um, anytime you click the start bar, it will bring you to this, rather than the traditional Windows bar um, opening or this bring you to this page which I think most of your apps will be for example I've installed Camtasia Recorder so it will come over here and on this you can say if I right click stocks you can uninstall it, unpin or make it smaller from here so you can basically customize it on, your, on the top right it has what they call a user towel, which is basically brings up the control panel, which you can change your picture. And you can see the control panel has changed quite a bit. But you can bring up the traditional one from the desktop by clicking the button. Which the way with actual Windows 8 is much much faster than this, is because I'm recording. Wow using it that it's a bit slow but that's basically the same as Windows 7 anyway another good feature of Windows 8 is if you bring your cursor to the left hand side of the screen you'll have the last app or any apps you have open so you can drag it out into the middle like that and it'll bring the full screen app that was already open. For example, like I've got control panel open right now, I can put the computer straight to it or anything else I've got open and every time you drag it out and the other app that's open comes out. So the only way to close the apps that I found out so far is to go into the task manager and then um, kill the processes from there, like this. So straight away you can see the task manager has changed completely from Windows XP Vista and 7. You have the simple view with, with any apps open, 
so I'll just end that and if you click on more details it will be a much more advanced version and it shows you all applications and black background processes everything all in one screen plus all these extra tabs so that will make it much easier to use and manage so you can still get from app to app by pressing alt and tab or windows key and tab like that so you can see what's open and yeah so that was a quick review of windows 8 so far subscribe for more videos on windows 8 and also many other things thanks and bye